What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king. Welcoming you back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, we got to experience our very first fishing tourney, as well as enjoying the new and improved Nook's Cranny, which finally received its upgrade. This episode, we are back here at Paradise Planning, and there are some new tourists here that we're going to have to talk to today. We're going to get to work on some more homes. I also can't help but notice there is a message bottle here on the beach. Why don't we take a look at this thing really quickly? Uh, Shell Arch. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm happy to have a free recipe, even though that's one that I could probably just find on my own island. But, eh, you know, if you ever run into one of these while you're out here, probably a good thing. All right, there are several villagers here that I am interested in getting involved in Paradise Planning. But let's go on inside and talk to Lottie first, as we do at the beginning of any work day. And we're just going to be making our way through, as we always do. Morning, Levi. All right. Okay. So let me see what you have really quickly. You got that again. And then also a bigger version of the table we bought last time. But ooh, I'm actually interested in the speaker. I love the IV bag. And then also, let's take a look at this. Uh, just some stacked bags. I'm actually going to buy that because I have some ideas about where I could probably put that. Uh, I'll probably get the speaker today as well after I get to work. So let's get started. Into our work uniform we go. All right. Got uh, something a little different for you this time. Remember when we looked at that empty facility together? Well, we got necessary permits to turn it into a school. That's great news. It is. I was very impressed with the permitting process. It was much quicker than I expected. This is an important moment in the history of Paradise Planning. Our very first facility. That's why I need your help putting it together. Let's head over now, shall we? All right. So rather than help anybody outside, looks like we're going to be building something interesting here. Let's uh, see how this is going to... I mean, it, okay, that of, of course that's going to be a school. It's literally even got the place for the school bell. Uh, and here we are, now that we had far to go. Now, I think we should start by freshening up the exterior. It could really use some personality. I'd like you to do your best for now. If you don't like something, you can always change it later. All right, let's see. Oh, so they're just going to give us a lot of the same customization options that we have for our house, actually. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to go with a brown roof, uh, something simple. Really, are these the only siding options here? There's no red siding I can go with. I could go with that and then maybe a brown. Ah, well, that's pretty. Is that, is that a little too cliche in terms of the color scheme? I don't know. I kind of like it. Uh, should I keep the red door as well? Maybe a blue door. Ooh, there's, there's a lot of good options here. I think... I'll go with yellow. I, well, I don't know. That's kind of a sensory nightmare. I'm going to go blue door. Um, and then as far as the bell's concerned, I think we'll just keep that the standard goldish color. I mean, it would be silver or gold, but silver got is more of a Christmassy thing in my opinion. Yep, we're going to say that's okay. All right, looks wonderful. With that taken care of, let's head on inside. All right, we're going to have a completely different space to work with this time than what we normally have, I would assume. Oh, that's actually smaller than I was expecting. Needs a lot of work in here, too. I'm so glad you're helping out with this. So first things first, a school needs chairs and desks, right? When you're ready, press, yeah, yeah to go to the order tab. All right. The room the sides will start feeling pretty cramped if we bring in too much furniture. What's your plan? I know just the thing, a technique to adjust the size of the room. It's an old trick of the trade. So if a room feels too large or too small for your vision, press down to switch in decorating mode from theirs. Oh, you can actually change the size of the room. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. So into decorating mode I go. What are my options for? Ooh, I can actually make this a little bit wider. I don't know if I need to make it that wide, but a little bit more. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I want to keep the rectangular shape. That might be just be too big, right? But it's also, it's probably for the best anyway to have them. And oh, yes, we're definitely going to have windows here. Um, let's see. Oh, this is just for the walkway coming in. Um, hmm. Something a little bit traditional here. That's a little too sanitized for my liking. I think I'll just go with the wooden look. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have windows for this because... But I don't want them... That's the thing. You know, I, I got to go the other way then because I don't want the windows to be behind the lectern. You understand? Does that make sense to everybody? I feel like it does. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with that. We're going to have this kind of a horizontal or I guess vertical school. Let's move this over here and rotate this around. I probably should do this so I can actually center things properly. Um, there we go. All right, so let's go into the order tab. All right, furnishing facilities. Yeah, yeah, we need to see what we can order here. So we got the teacher's desk, which, I mean, I could keep with the podium or I could go with a basic desk, which I think I might actually switch to that. Um, we got some regular desk options in here. There we go. We got to have school desks. Are you kidding me? Let's get six of those in here. Yeah, perfect. And then chairs. I mean, I would definitely want to go with the school chairs, am I right? 
Lecture hall bench. Ooh, I could go with that as well. Hold on. Are there not really any... Oh, that's the school chair. Okay, there we go. Just kind of dot the room with those. There we go. All right, now we got all of those set down. Let's go. Let's see. What can I do for flooring here? Birch, cork, modern wood. A gym flooring. Cool paint flooring. Uh, no, I'm not going to go with that. I don't like the concrete look here very much. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to go with a more standard... Flooring. Ooh, the cool. Ah, that's a little bit too distracting, though, I'd say. Maybe the dark herringbone. That's a little too boring. Modern wood. Cork. No, that's probably too uncomfortable to walk on. Natural flooring is probably the best, even if it is very dull. Isn't there actually, like, a schoolhouse-themed wallpaper? I could have sworn there is. a Manga library wall. No. <laughs> no, we're not going to go with that, but that's actually pretty funny. Uh, we got different dotted walls here. Locker room wall, which I'm sorry doesn't really actually fit. Not going to go with concrete. Maybe I should just go with the white wood paint or possibly pink. That's not too bad. Uh, Sakura wood wall. I think I will not do that. And then we got the herringbone wall as well. Um, I think I'm going to go with the pink painted wood wall for this. All right. Let's uh, leave all that for now. So uh, I need to start organizing where all these desks are at. Actually, I am going to get rid of that. And I am going to go with the uh, the standard bench. So let me do that really quickly. A standard desk, excuse me. So do that. And I'll adjust all the colors up in a, sec in a second. But let me just rearrange everything here. And then we can have a good look at this. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Uh, I looked through the color options, and honestly, I'm not a big fan of them, and I can actually show you what they all are. I just, I don't like the way that they look in, in like, relation to one another. The only one that's kind of tempting is the light brown and black, but these are just a bit too, well, at least the white and red is a bit too garish. The gray and blue, I mean, I, gray and blue is kind of okay, I suppose, but the problem is that there's nothing on the teacher's desk that really lines up with that, because all you have is monotone, wooden, and the standard, and I'm gonna be, I'm sorry, but the standard one honestly just looks the best in that situation. Okay, let's start putting up some other things here, so we definitely need to have, where is it? Oh yeah, we gotta put a couple of these things up here. So, where is, okay, that's a little weird, Would shouldn't there be a chalkboard somewhere, or is that actually like a houseware option that I have to like roll up? Maybe it is. Let's look through here really quickly. Look! Oh my gosh, we have so many things we need to sort through in here. Um, really, str I'm not seeing one. Is is there really not a chalkboard at all, or a whiteboard, or something of to that effect? Like that seems a little strange. I would assume there was something of that sort. There are some lockers, which are funny. Which actually, I think I might put a couple of those down. We'll put them in like the corner back there and let's see what other options does it give us or, or actually no that would be better would be the school locker what am i saying yeah we'll definitely do that and then we have a tall file cabinet i'm looking at mainly the things that it it has specifically for this set i love how there's a stereo there a music stand no thank you we are not going to put toilets in the actual oh here we go okay there we go that's what i was looking for i was wondering where those were yeah we're going to do a big chalkboard here and then a whiteboard as well oh no whiteboard as well Okay, um, we are going to put some things on the desks. Let's get rid of that. Are these a little too far apart? I'm wondering that the more I look at it, if we, we could squeeze like another column of desks in here. If I were to just kind of like ease them over just a little bit, like so. Yeah, I think I could probably make that work. I just don't want to make it like too cramped in here, you know what I mean? And I want to keep the symmetry as well. I'll, I'll leave that for now. If I have to make adjustments at the end, I think I will. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to put this probably back. Should I put it at the front or the back? I think I'm going to put it at the back. Yeah, I'm going to definitely try to make a little bit more space on at least one side of the room. And we are going to take this and kind of slide it. As long as it's centered, I'm happy. Is that centered? It looks centered to me. Yep, yep, yep. I would say it is. Okay, now we'll put the whiteboard over here. Uh, just, you know, something to roll in whenever need, whenever need be. And then as far as wall-mounted stuff is concerned, we are going to put a few things up here. So we definitely want to have a world map somewhere. We definitely want a cork board somewhere, although I don't like that those are behind. Um, we definitely want a bulletin board somewhere. Study poster? Sure, why not? Let's add all of those. Okay, so world map can go, I think, directly behind the teacher. Uh, the study board can go on over here above the lockers. Um, this can be right here as you're coming in. 
We'll just kind of stick that right about there. And then there you are. Cork board. We are going to stick this right next to, yeah, right next to the study poster. Okay, I like that. I like the look of that a lot. Okay, but there's definitely more we could do with this to spruce it up a little bit. I want to look at, make it look too generic. All right, I'm adding some more items to just kind of spruce up the place a little bit. Uh, the homework set just, you know, makes a little bit too much sense to add these. Although I don't like the homework set can't really be customized at all. Uh, unlike the essay set here, which actually absolutely can be, which I think is a little bit strange. I want to put this somewhere. And, you know, having that world map and the globe next to each other is probably a little bit redundant. So I think what I'll do is I'll actually switch this with... Uh, probably the study set, actually. We'll stick that over here, just like so. We'll kind of put that down. There we go. I like that. All right, and now, as I continue to move things around, this is going to be where the teacher sits, right about there. I think I can pull that forward, like, a little bit. Uh, not, like, just right there in the centered spot. And then I could probably, can I, man, no, it's not going to let me fit that back there. Um, let's take this file cabinet and kind of stick it over there. Perfect. Okay, and now the only thing that's kind of driving me up a wall is the separation of these desks. They're just, I mean, I don't know. I feel like we could probably cram one more set in here, but I, maybe this is just enough. Maybe this will be fine. I think it might be fine. Um, is there any more posters I can stick on this left side wall where I've kind of got the fan over here? I don't think so. It's like a frame, like a wall planter and stuff. There's Oh, I, I definitely could put this behind the teacher's desk. Uh, so let's do that. And then would there be anything else? Gosh, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, there's there's a couple of options I see here. But it really just, the kind of the fan is the only one that makes a ton of sense. So I could put up a another uh, cork board and I can actually change the contents on it. Because this is customizable, right? I believe it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Oh, it just changes the card, though. Eh. No, probably not. You know what? Let's do this. Let's put this over on this side. And then we'll just put the paper uh, behind. And let's make sure that that is... Let's see, is that our only option? Oh, yeah. Oh, I actually think I like that one better. Let's go with that. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now whoever gets to be the teacher here has a degree. And uh, they can be more legitimate for it. And also... Let me check this art set really quickly to see if I can't change anything here. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, those are actually kind of cool. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the smile. I like it. Cute. All right. Cool. I think that that looks like a pretty darn good schoolhouse. What do you say, Lottie? How are things going? Um, I'm finished. Great. Now, the next thing about uh, will be who can we invite to work here? We can always change the staff later, but who would you like to hire right now? Oh, okay, so we have to choose between our, uh, who we've got. I love how Marlo is the one, that, the option that it says makes the most. You know, honestly, I would go with Marlo, maybe Maple, to be a school teacher. I think I'll go with Maple, honestly, and then let's uh, see if we can't change her outfit a little bit. Um, oh, wow, it actually gives us a ton of options. Uh, let's see, is there anything, oh gosh, is it going to give me a lot of options here? It sure is. Um, I definitely want something that's going to fit her a little bit better without her looking like an actual student. Is there any... Go with a box skirt uniform. That's actually not too bad. Uh, let's see. Is there any, like, full uniforms that I could probably use? I think that would be a little too formal. <laughs> a kimono. No, that's also a little too much, too. Um, go with a dress here, possibly. Gosh. You know, maybe I should just go with Marlo, because he, I don't know, he looked spiffy in that freaking sweater vest, if I, if I say so myself. And, I don't know, it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of great options for lady teachers here. So, maybe maybe a coat again, and then I could give, can I give her some pants too? I don't think I can. No, I cannot, because, yeah. Can't do that with villagers, of course. Um, yeah, let's go with a coat again. I think that's actually probably good. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with Maple. Um... Let me just change her glasses up a little bit here. Something that's a little bit more, like, serious. There. I don't think that's too bad. Should I? Is there any hat I should add here? Probably not. They don't really fit on bears super well because they shrink them down to fit between their ears, which I've never liked that. I wish it would just conceal the ears and be actual size. Yeah, we'll go with that. 
All right, Maple, you are now the school teacher here. Okay, I'll go call our new teacher. Wait, before we do this, we need to give our school a name. If you have any ideas, I want to hear them. Or if you don't right now, that's okay. We can name it later. Uh, shoot, I'm not totally on the spot for this. Let's give it a name. All right, what were you thinking? You know, I genuinely couldn't think of anything, and I was sat here for maybe five minutes just going over names in my head. A lot of them were way too cliche. This one's even pretty cliche, but I was just like, gosh, those were good books, weren't they? Those were really good books when I was a kid. We're going to call it Wayside. Yeah. I should have called it Wayside School, but I didn't want to get like, too I mean, obviously I can change it later, but I didn't want to get too specific with it. Is it going to show a little? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to actually show everyone here at school. That's cool. I like that. That's really cute. <laughs> Marlo's like, I should have been the teacher here. What are you doing? Oh, that's funny. What is Maple teaching exactly, though? That's what my question is. And I'm going to get a little picture right there. Perfect. I feel like that's a good enough photo. I think it would be better if she had, like, a ruler in her hand so she could, like, smack some sense into the unruly students or whatever. That would be kind of funny. Cool. I uh, I like it. I definitely could have gone for more of a university vibe, but I decided to kind of stick with a more traditional, like, middle school-ish sort of vibe, middle school, high school sort of vibe. I don't know. It's uh, There's no way of, like, being, oh, yeah, characters in this game are adults. It's like they're freaking, they're just Animal Crossing characters. You can't assign any demographic to them really they're just what they are the, the only personalities they have the only stereotypes they have is their personality types and well there isn't such there aren't any gender fluid characters in this game so there's just male and female pretty much and although i mean there are definitely some androgynous characters but that's besides the point well i called everyone here once i got a te our teacher in here it seemed like we needed some students too and now everyone is learning thanks to you Ooh, we should take a photo for our design portfolio and after that another one outside just to celebrate the occasion I mean, I did. I did take a photo, and I like it. Um, oh, okay. Well, I could do another one here. Um, let's see. All right, how am I gonna set this up? We got. We got to. We got to get it from like the perspective of like the front. Well, I, I don't want to get Lottie in the shot either, though. Can I like do that? Yeah, let's do it like this, just kind of from this side perspective, and then poof. All right, there we go. Let's. Uh, hey. Hey, uh, Maple, you want to look this way? Or are you going to walk over there? She's going to walk over there. Don't go behind Marlo, you silly goose. Go like that, maybe. That's another option. I don't know. It wasn't the best photo. What do you think, Lottie? Oh, are we taking another one? Oh, we're getting our own little ceremony here. Thank you very much. The island is a little more beautiful today thanks to Levi and Wayside. I can't wait to see what the future holds for its students and teachers. All right, we need to hear from the person in charge of decorating Wayside. Levi, a few words. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we have a school. Last but not least, let's take that celebratory photo. All right, cool. Let's get that kind of in frame. Everybody look up. And there we go. I think it came out lovely. But what do you think of the photo, Levi? It's perfect. I think it's perfect, too. That'll do. Take care, everyone. Oh, look at little freaking Nico. He's so cute. Ah, oh, he's such an adorable little guy. Whew, you know, I think we did a great job. Let me take a peek inside. What a good looking school. It's so nice. I bet I do well, uh, even in my worst subjects. Wordle is impressed, uh, impressed, or was impressed with how polished everything looks, too. I agree. Our school is top notch. Who said you can't learn anything in paradise? I heard that Lottie taught you her little trick about resizing rooms. That means, whoa. What is it, Nico? I've just come up with a brilliant idea, <laughs> but I'm going to keep it to myself for now. What? That's not fair. I promise you'll tell us soon, all right? Anyway, moving on. That was a very large job. You'll be paid appropriately. Here's 25,000 pokey. Oh, man. That is what I like to see. Grant plans, so I'm sure I'll need your help with another facility in the future. If we keep growing the client base, I just know we'll get the permits we need. Anything is possible. Let me know if you ever want to freshen up the school with a remodel. And because it needs saying one more time, thank you for all your help. All right, I would say that that was pretty productive. I do not want to call it today. I want to work a little bit longer because we still have time in this episode, plenty of time. And uh, there are some things I'd like to do. So let's head on out. There was a specific villager I noticed outside that I really, really want to talk to before we go any further because he might be one of the most famous villagers in the entire game. And there he is. He's still sitting here. What's up, Bob? Yay, this place is fun. Hey, you fun too? Wait, don't you work with Paradise Planning? You are fun. So vacation houses, they're cool, and everyone wants stuff that's cool. And I'm one of everyone. 
Let's chat about it. If I know anything about vacation homes, and I don't, this is going to be the best thing ever. <laughs> what a freaking catchphrase. <laughs> Where he just spits. <laughs> I think it'd be nice if my vacation home was kind of like this. All right, let's see what we got. Blooming indoor garden. That's pretty simple. All right. So he just wants flowers then. I mean, are we just going to make him a greenhouse pretty much? I can do that. All right, let's see what our options are here for where we can put you. Um, ooh, should we put him over by the glowing moss? I kind of like that plan. But I don't know if I want to stick him up in the mountains either. Where can we go here? Or maybe up by the cherry blossom trees might be good. Let's go with that. Select this one. This one looks cool. I can't wait to go there. Now, Bob, we found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before we begin. Levi, please lead Bob to the site. And best of luck. And off we go. All right, I'm really curious as to what options I'm going to have for this one. And also what further options it's going to give me for future houses. Is this really going to be my vacation home? Really, really? Uh, ha -ha, this is going to be so fun. Okay, I'm going to get out of your way. It's time for a snack break anyway. I can't wait to move in. All right, here we go. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mess with the interior first, and then we'll worry about the exterior afterwards, because, yes, I will definitely mess with it, but I would like to get something set in stone before all be all begins. And, oh, it's just singular vase flowers, just tulips. Okay, cool. Uh, I suppose that's a plan. All right, let's get to work. And we can resize the room now, which is cool. So that makes, that gives me a lot more space to work. Um, we will definitely use those, and I won't mess with anything else. All right, let's see what we can put down here. So first things first, as always, we're going to start with the wallpaper, which it looks like, oh, the retro flower print wall. That's an interesting choice. We also have the blue intrigue wall, white rose wall. I'm going to go with something like this. Yeah, meadow vista, and then there's a meadow flooring too, isn't there? Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, we got to make this as cozy as possible, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to go... Stick specifically to your order if I can. Um, we got a ooh, flower display case, flower stand. Oh my gosh, there's so many flower related things. We got to put down a tent. Got to do that. Um, let's see here. We're also going to put up tables and whatnot. There's not a lot of... There's actually not a lot. Okay, Nordic low board, Nordic table, Nordic sofa, Nordic chair, Nordic low table, and Nordic shelves. All of those are good options. We're going to move these things around. So we're going to stick the tent kind of over here. I'm going to put the uh, couch sort of here in the center. Let's kind of rotate this around, and we'll stick a couple of these up on uh, vases uh, right here on the center of the table. Oh, I can't put all three on there. That's fine. Okay, well, actually, it's not letting me adjust this table without taking that off for some reason, so let's do that. I'm going to have to see if I can fit between there or not. It's going to probably be a little easier said than done. Now, as for the shelves, let's kind of stick these over here. Um... We'll do something with... I think I'll put that kind of in like a little kitchen area here soon. Okay, making sure I have this the right way. There we go. Um, maybe I should put that over here, possibly. Hold on. There we go. Let's go like that. All right, let's continue messing with the order really quickly. So, what do we have? We have a clothes closet. We got some... This is the rose bed. We will definitely put that somewhere. I think I'll put that actually... I think I'll swap that with the tent, actually. And then we got a mum cushion which that could come in handy. A pansy table. There's also a hammock, which I, that's going outside for sure. Um, there's also a flower display case, which I can mess with. And a flower tabletop mirror. That is going to go over on the low table. That garden wagon is also going to go outside. Maybe I should put the kid's tent outside as well. Put a pop-up book somewhere as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's start moving some of these things around. So we're going to put that about... No, don't be hanging off the table, please. And then, can I get to... There you go. Just like... Oh, nope. I need that to be there. Never mind. Because I guess he's got to be able to turn it over, so it makes sense. All right, let's get rid of the tent, actually. Yeah, that's going to definitely go outside, I think. And then, as far as this is concerned... I'm going to put this way over here. Which which way is that facing, exactly? Uh, I don't actually know what the front... I mean, I'm... Okay, I think that's the front right there. Yeah, yeah, Just kind of looking at it. Um, can we also adjust it at all? We got different colors, but not really a whole lot else. I think I'll just leave that silver. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a chair... Oh, gosh. Do I want to put it on... Do I want to just put four of those down? Maybe I should. 
Maybe I should put the mum cushions there. And we can kind of stick this chair right about there. Maybe next to the shelves, possibly. And then there's something else I could probably put up on. Not there. Yeah, let's go about there. Cool. Uh, what's something I could put up on that table? Maybe I should put the Lily record player down. I don't know. Put down a few mum cushions. So we have places to sit. And I gotta make sure that I'm sitting the right way on all of these, too. But I don't know which is the correct one. Well, you can't really... The problem is you can't tell. Because, I mean, I can get sit on these and rotate, but I don't know if that's gonna actually allow him to, like, face the table or not when I do the pictures. Can I, like... There we go. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. But there's not really a... Yeah, there's not really a way I can, like, adjust that very much, unfortunately. Um... Okay, I'm gonna also put down a picnic basket, as well as a bamboo lunchbox. We got some decorative bottles. I think those are gonna go up on the shelf. Oh, there's nothing. What do you mean there's no room? Hold on. Am I really out of space here? There we go, okay. Let's go back into decorating mode, and we're gonna put these about there. Bamboo lunchbox can go here. Picnic basket can go there. I still need to make sure that I can actually fit uh, between the couch and the low table. Oh, I didn't realize I- oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I already put down a mum cushion. That's my bad. Can I fit between here? Yes, I can. So if I want to sit, that's possible, but that's not like convenient for Bob to fit through. So I think I need to adjust that a little bit. Um, is there a way? Gosh, it really does not let me move that table without at least taking something off of it. Which is very frustrating. Let's just go, like, right there. Yeah, okay. Um, now, as far as everything else is concerned, I'm gonna put some... I'm gonna put a basket of bread, probably. Oh, I think I need to move these somewhere. Let's put the basket of bread, like, right here, and then I think I'll put this up on the table somewhere. There we go. Um, is there anything else I can put down? There definitely is, I'm sure. Why is a wheelchair one of the suggested options? That's a little bit goofy. Um... I could also put down, I kind of want to put down the Lily record player. So let's do that. Bob, you are such a goofball. There we go. Okay, I thought I also left it so that, that we were supposed to have windows too. Oh, I can't with this wallpaper. Okay, good to know. Well, in that case, yeah, we can definitely have that there. Um, what else can I put down? Do I want to put down the tulip surprise box? Maybe I should. And can we adjust this at all in color? Eh, we'll just leave that red. I think that's fine. What about this one? Let's go with... Let's go yellow on that one. Perfect. All right. I'd say that's pretty flowery. What do you think, Bob? I th I'd say that's a pretty good job. Now let's head on outside and we can start putting some stuff down to kind of spruce the place up. I hope I'm allowed to put down hedges for this because I feel like that would fit pretty darn well. So we'll stick to spring. Let's go with our fences. Let's see. Give me hedges. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Okay. I'm going to definitely put... Oh, no, no, no. I need to rotate these. What am I doing? There we go. And then we will put them there. Perfect. Okay, I like that a lot. Um, should I put more hedges down along the riverside too? I think I will, actually. Not the whole way across. Well... Let's see. No, it doesn't let me go to there, though. Uh, I don't really like that. No, we're just going to leave that be. Instead, let's just go into our furniture options. All right, let's start putting some things down here. So we got a hammock. I'm going to put some trees out for that. We got a kid's tent. We got a garden wagon. Um, there's all these other options I could put down, but I don't think I'm going to. Hmm. Clothes closet. No, thank you. Is there anything else outside I wanted to put down? I don't think so. I think this is pretty much covers everything. How big? I'm going to look how big and see just the size of those. Okay, they're all a lot smaller than I would like. I think I'll put this just kind of like these like right here just on either side outside like that. But we're going to put the lamp away. Let's take the tent and shove that over here. We will put the garden wagon over here at the end of the plot. Sort of. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's probably fine. And then the hammock is going to go up here. What we're going to do is we're going to go into... Oh, 
Okay, sorry about that. I, for some reason, couldn't remember where the freaking trees go. That's my bad. Yeah, no, we're going to put them up here. Just a few of them. And I'm going to put one tree about there. And then we're going to put another pair of them over here. And we're going to stick the hammock right between them. Just kind of shove that over. I can't go up any more than that. That's fine. And then is there anything else I can put up at the top of this path? We could put a couple of uh, bushes up here as well. Why don't we go with some... Oh, Bob, what fits you best? I'm going to go with the azaleas here. Because we have... Yeah, we have white... Uh, white azaleas. There's another azalea, isn't there, too? I could have sworn. Um, yeah, pink azaleas. Okay, we'll get a couple of those and then one more white azalea. Perfect. And I'll just kind of set those right about here. Kind of alternate them like so. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I like that. You can also change if they're in their blooming period or not. Cute. All right, Bob, I think I like the way your house looks. I think it is incredibly flowery. I'm sure it smells wonderful here. But let's go on inside and let's get that picture really quickly. And then we can call this uh, call this done and dusted, I'd say. So there we go. I'm kind of debating if I should put that lamp anywhere. You know, I think I am going to do that really quickly. I'm actually going to move this up here. And I'm actually going to take that hyacinth lamp and we're going to set that on the low table right there perfect okay i like that i like that a lot let me uh get myself a picture and we're just going to kind of move this around uh do, 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 do. it's it just seems so it does seem a little busy but i wanted this to you know i wanted this to have like some utility but also like it's a place for him to enjoy you know i probably should check one thing though before i do that how is this bed? Okay, I that's what I was worried about. I didn't actually know what the orientation was on this thing, so I'm going to actually fix that really quickly. Um, you know what? I might actually slide this over just a spot like that. Yeah, it would probably be better to be centered anyway. Okay, there we go. I like that. I like that a lot. Pro camera. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Go up above a little bit. I'm going to pop myself out. Hey, Bob, if you don't... I need to move you. Maybe I should do that for... You know, yeah, let, let's talk to you first, and then we'll move you. It's ready. Me not remembering the order of operations here. It has been a few days since I've done this, so I just completely blanked on that. So, my bad. I recorded those first three episodes consecutively, but this episode is many, 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 many days after the fact. I guess I could take the photo in this scene right here. Uh, that's an angle. There we go. You know what? I like that. Oh, uh, not with him in the process of sitting down. Man, these angles are, uh, interesting in this scene. Okay, there we go. I like that a lot better. Right before he pulls his phone out. That's a pretty good one, too. There you go, Bob. Are you happy? I sure hope you are. It's good to have you a part of our little paradise planning adventure, given that you are one of the most beloved characters in the entire game. Thank you. So now what do you want to do? Want to hang out? Uh, I'm actually leaving. Safe travels. If I need anything, I'll come find you. See ya. And there we go. We got the photo we needed, so I'm happy with that. And back we go. Welcome back. Hope it went well. Uh, that looks new. All right, we've earned 9,000 Pokey this time, but I want to inquire about this thing on your desk here. Finish today, will you work a little longer? I think I'm done. Take it easy and rest up. Uh, can I ask about this really quickly? I had a feeling that would catch your attention. That's an Amiibo scanner. I have a relative who's good with machines. When I told him things were going well with my company, he sent it over as a gift. The Amiibo scanner is going to be a critical part of our business. Using Animal Crossing series Amiibo, you can contact clients directly and offer vacation home services. There are also some VIP clients who will entrust the design concept of their vacation home with you as well. Until you get a firm handle on the job, I suggest contacting clients that have their own concept in mind. That's all for now. I can't wait to see what the, you do with the Amiibo scanner in future. Well, that actually might be something I have to do here and there as we go um i'll do it another time just because i'm not working anymore today i think i'm done i actually want to take a look at this uh pa speaker so i'm gonna buy that really quickly i think i'm good there and i think i'll just save the rest of the pokey that i have because what is what is this iv bag or iv drip 
I don't know. Maybe I should buy it, though, for the future of possibly like a hospital thing or something like that. I don't know. I, I probably should just buy all the new things. I got so much pokey as it is anyway. I may as well. I don't need to buy that, though, because I already got that. All right. Let's head on outside. And uh, let's just have a look around really quickly before we call this an episode done and dusted. Like I said, next episode, we are going to be heading back to Moreau. We're going to be taking care of some things there. Um, the... There's so much to be done in both of these, and it's actually going to get to a point uh, once things start to be a little bit more menial and a little bit more boring, I guess, a little bit more tedious, that I am probably going to actually do a couple of off-screen days here at Paradise Planning, but not anytime soon. It's just something to worry about for the po potential future. Um, we got all sorts of characters. I think I recognize you. Oh, never mind. You're not who I thought you were. I used to have a rhino villager on my original... Um, I think his name was Hornsby. He was like an original, um, original Animal Crossing that he, he was one of the few villagers I had that stuck around forever. Like, I still have that file, actually. It's, I want to say, I want to say it's over 20 years old. I, I think it actually, I, I made it the year that the original Animal Crossing came out. And there are four villagers on that file that have been there since the very beginning like since i moved in only two of the ogs moved out and then a few more got added in and they've swapped out here and there but yeah there's four that have been there since the very beginning one of them was named hornsby who was a rhino i think it was hornsby i'm pretty sure it was a rhino um i know for a fact one of them was limberg who is a grumpy mouse um another one was puck who is a i want to say oh gosh what is he the 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 freaking what type is it? The one, Bob, same type personality type as Bob. Uh, his name is Puck. Uh, he he was always really cool too. He's kind of got little like earmuffs on and whatnot. And then I'm trying to remember who the last one is. I think it was Kiki the cat, um, who had been there since the beginning. And yeah, that they're just you have these villagers that you play Animal Crossing with, and they're just kind of always there, and they just stick around for so long that you kind of just find yourself getting a like extra attached to them. And it's funny because, you know, I love those villagers, but Limburg in particular, he's always one that gets constantly trashed by people online because he's not a very sightly looking villager. He's kind of a dick. He's ugly. He's this orange mouse with like clown face paint on around his mouth. And a lot of people just don't like him. And yeah, I totally get it from like an objective point of view, but from this like selfish subjective point of view where he was because he was literally like my neighbor, like in the, the acre next to where my house was at for 20 odd years and I just I, I have a special attachment for the guy because of it and even though he was always kind of a dick especially in that old GameCube Animal Crossing I, I have a soft spot for him I really do and you know everyone's got that with different villagers I feel like depending on which Animal Crossing you started with especially those of us who started with older Animal Crossings back in the day and there are just some that stick with you more than others and there's other ones I could name as well um, but my goal here is, as we continue to work on Paradise Planning, is to incorporate a few of those. But I don't want to do too many because there are still villagers that I want to move into Moreau as well. Um, the, what villagers I have there are not set. I'm probably keeping about half of the current, um, the current villagers we have. And actually here, incredibly soon, I am probably going to be replacing one. Um, one that I have been kind of mulling over for a while, but I am going to be replacing it with something that fits a little bit better. And I also need to figure out our uh, our snooty villager situation. As of right now, I have a few too many, and so I'm going to be working on that. Next episode, guys, uh, as we head back to Moreau, there's going to be a lot of things to go over. There's going to be a lot of renovations that are done uh, to the island, and we're going to be talking about, or basically just going over all of the changes going on around the island as I sort of just demonstrate my plans and uh, it's not really going to be any one event in particular. It's just going to be a normal day, but it's going to be a day where we cover a lot of what needs to get done to make Moreau even better than it already is. So I hope you're all looking forward to that, guys. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.